Alright folks, today we're taking a look at the ICOM ID5100 and we're taking a look at the nearby repeater function and how to load repeater lists into it. So let's check it out today on K5ATA Ham Radio. As we get started, y'all, hit that like button, hit subscribe, hit that little bell so you get notified of any new content we have. Um, we do have an Amazon affiliate link down there. doesn't cost you anything extra. earns uh, the school club and the channel a little bit, small percentage there, as well as our Patreon link down below. All the money from Patreon goes directly to support our school ham radio club. So if you feel up to supporting us, we definitely appreciate it. So let's get this show on the road. Okay, so if you didn't know... The ICOM ID5100 has a nearby repeater function. Um, basically, you can load a list of repeaters, and it has their GPS coordinates associated with them. And so as you're cruising down the road, you can just hit a couple buttons or screen presses and find out what repeaters are closest to you. Um, it's a handy feature. I remember back in the old days, we used to have to kind of pre-plan our trips and go through and manually program repeaters, um, even doing it with a PC became kind of labor intensive, especially if you traveled a lot, because you would constantly be changing your memories and your, your radio and whatnot, and this takes a lot of that guesswork out of it. So it's one of the features I really like about this 5100, so let's dive in and see how to make that work. Okay, so first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to actually load a list of repeaters in there, into the radio. Okay, so in, so in order to do that, just open a browser, and we're just going to go to www.dstartinfo.com. Okay, and hit enter. And it should load that page. Let me make... Okay, um, so when you get here, and if you've never been here before, there's some great information on this website about DSTAR and how to use it and whatnot. Um, but what you're going to do is you're going to go to Downloads, and you're going to select which one works for you. In this one, we're going to say... I'm getting a repeater list download for DR mode radios because the ICOM 5100 is a DR mode, DR mode radio. Okay, it gives you a little bit of information there. It updates your ICOM, this and that and the other. Your Kenwood THD74. Here it is, the ICOM ID5100. And so what we're going to do is it also updates the ICOM ID7100, which I'm hoping to get my hands on to do some videos for. All right, so you can put in your location and then just gonna scroll down and select your radio. Um, you'll see it has repeater list length is 1500. Um, here's, here's my thing with this is it's set to be 20% of the repeater banks will be FM repeater so which means 80% of those slots are going to fill with D star repeaters now I'm pretty much just taking the United States machines I have a camper and we like to activate parks on the air stuff but we drag that camper pretty much around the US um, so I want I don't think there are that many you know I've got 1500 options there I don't think there are that many D star repeaters out there um, plus I take a hotspot with me anyway so I'm going to kind of reverse that. I want 80% of this to be FM, and that's going to leave 20% of them to be D-Star machines. So when I hit download, you're going to see it's going to download here. Now I'm kind of in the way, so okay. And you're going to see it downloaded here. Now mine has the little parentheses too because I've downloaded a couple of these before. Okay, and so from this point, let me slide myself back over. All right, so from this point, what we're going to do is we've got the file download. I can minimize this. Okay, and in the, the radio itself, you actually have... Let me see if I can get this into the shot here without... Well, let me turn this off since I'm popping the SD card out. All right, so right here on the front of the radio see, is an SD card. So just push it in. And it's going to pop most of the way out. And you just pull that dude out. 
Now, um, if you don't have a SD card in your radio, it takes a micro SD card, and then you slide it into the radio there, and this is just an adapter for it. All right, so in my case, this is my micro SD card, and I just have a little USB adapter. Um, if you're having trouble getting it to read, a lot of these things, you know, they've got the little key-like thing on the side, so it'll only go the right way. So if you put it in and it's kind of wonky like that, flip it over, and it should seat in to be pretty even. Okay, and then we're just going to plug this into our USB port on the PC. Okay, and then when you open whatever that drive is on yours, okay, it's going to open up to this. On mine, I think it was E yeah, or F. F. Okay, um, what you want to do is you want to double click. Oops, I'm on there. You want to double click ID5100. Okay, you're going to double click the CSV because that stands for comma separated value, and that's the kind of file you're going to dump into this. Okay, and then repeater list. Now you can see I've got one in here, and that's because I updated this the other day, but I'm going to delete that so I can show you how to put a new one in. All right, so I'm going to say boom chakalaka, you're gone. Okay, and now what I want to do is I want to put the new one in there. So what you can actually do is you can open a second window. Okay, so I have, that's both windows open, not quite tiled correctly, but you get the idea. Okay, so I've got both folders open, or this is the repeater, and they're both actually open to the same spot. What I want to do is I want to go to my downloads on one of them, it doesn't matter which. Okay, and the file that I downloaded today is there. Now, what I want to do is I want to, well, I can just drag it over there first, drag it over, drop it in, and now it's in there. Now, I don't think it can keep that little parentheses too, so you want to rename that. I may be wrong, but just to be safe, I'm going to delete all those and just leave it at IRNAID5100 hit enter and now it's in there so as far as how to get it into the radio we're pretty much done um, now all I have to do is take that out of my computer and we'll shove it back in the radio okay so popping that out of there sliding it into there and just sliding this back into the radio so to put it back in it's the same thing you just push it in until it clicks if it comes back out you just didn't push it in quite hard enough and now we can power up the radio get this dude out of the way alright so here's the way this works um, I'm inside and my house actually has a metal roof so oops, somebody somebody keyed up. Um, I may or may not acquire a GPS signal, but that's really not that big of a deal because of the way this works. So what you want to do is you want to hit DR and you'll see it's from, and I'm sure you can see that, it says from Batesville. Um, if you're driving around somewhere, what you want to do is you want to just tap that and you'll see you have where it says near repeater. Right, you can kind of see it there. All right, so this top one says repeater list. The middle one says near repeater, and the bottom one says transmit history, TX history. What you want to do is you just want to hit near repeater, and it lets you pick. Do you want all repeaters, just DV repeaters, which are D-star, or FM repeaters? Okay. In this case, I'm going to say give me all the nearby ones. And you'll see it popped up that little message. That little message, what it said was basically, I don't have a GPS signal, so I'm using your last good coordinates. Okay, which is why it's not that important if you're you can't get a good fix on it. You know, I got a fix off of it when I was in the truck, and that's what it went off of. And you can see I've got a DV repeater, DV repeater, DV, a whole bunch of DV repeaters up in Memphis. Okay, um, you know those are DV repeaters because they have the letter after it, like WB4KOG. 
space B. Okay, if I want to find FM repeaters, it's the same thing. Okay, and you can see I have KM5WX, 11 miles, and it's got the little compass thing over there. And that's 11 miles almost due west. Okay, 14 miles almost due east. I have the Oxford repeater. And you can scroll down and you can kind of get a bearing and how far they are. That's useful for as you're cruising down the road. Um, if there's a repeater coming up ahead of you, you know, you know what direction you're heading. So if you're heading that direction, you see it's up ahead of you and you can hit that repeater, you can hold that repeater for much longer. You can hold it on the trip in, and then obviously as you pass it, and then the trip out until you run out of string there. So it's a really useful feature for traveling and stuff like that. Um, and a lot of people tended to think, that I think, that it was only useful for D-Star, but it's not. This is one of the great things about this radio is I can find all those FM repeaters and just, you know, on a standard old repeater, I can have conversations on a road trip so um, if you did happen to want to look by a list they are broken down by regions and so you could just navigate that way so I mean obviously the GPS works much better but if for some reason you know you don't have a GPS reading and you're a good ways away from where your last good reading was for some reason you can always get into them that way so not really a whole lot to make that work, but it's extremely handy to, to have, and it's nice to use. I've used it on a couple um, road trips already, and it came in handy. So that's about it. Y'all take care. Hope to see you on the air. 7-3.